Have you ever wondered why we colored the set blue? It's because blue is reassuring. Just like green means go and yellow means slow down. Colors communicate information. And in workflows, colors can help us orient our collaborators. Welcome to Tooltips, where every week we discover new and surprising ways to use Airtable. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to color records to surface information for you and your collaborators without having to dig into the details. A view's got many components, a type, maybe some filters or groupings. You can add color so it's easier to soak in all the important information at once. Color your campaigns by their status or urgency level, or highlight past due assignments in red so you can instantly know what to focus on. Let's start nice and simple by talking about coloring by select fields. Then we'll take it to the next level with custom color conditions and then how to add color everywhere. To color records, you'll configure your view as usual by selecting a type, filter, and any other customizations. With colors, you bring to the front information that would otherwise take a few clicks to get to. Here, I've got a nice calendar view, but information about the status of each piece of content is hidden in the expanded record view. To make that visible, I can color every record according to the status field. Now the team can see upcoming deadlines and how we're progressing towards them in one view. Coloring by single select is perfect when you have one set of criteria you want to bring attention to. Often though, workflows have multiple considerations. To level up your coloring according to any criteria, you can add custom conditions. Let's say I want to highlight in bright red any piece of content that is due next week, but isn't yet in review. I can create a custom rule with those conditions and fall back on yellow so as to not grab attention otherwise. Now colors reflect two dimensions, due date and status, so it's easy to know what's up. Views in a base are not the only place where stakeholders interact with your workflow. When sharing a view, color conditions are automatically reflected just like a views filter, grouping, or any other customizations. Dashboards are another place where stakeholders get information. In apps like the Matrix app I have here, you can choose to color records with the same conditions as a select field or from a view you've already created. This way, no matter where folks look, my base is constantly communicating the right information in a way that's pleasing and easy to understand. Where are you gonna add colors in your base? Views, apps, somewhere else? Drop us a screenshot in the comments and we'll send our favorites some colorful prizes. I'll see you back here next week for another episode of Tooltips.